Hi, everyone. Welcome to the digital experience team. Uh, this is our iteration uh, demo video where we'll go over what we worked on for the last two week period. Uh, today is Thursday, January 27th. And first up, we have Tyler. Um, yeah, so a couple things. Um, uh, and Megan really did this. I just had to like actually put the thing in the Google Tag Manager because she didn't have permissions. But um, so we've adjusted the, the drift chat behavior to like stay away when people dismiss not the chat itself, but the like little side banner that like jumps out to the left of it. Um, so that so that's working. That's out there now. Um, and then most of my time was just working on uh, these last two enhanced e-commerce events in um, GitLab. So um, the checkout event is live. It's in production now, so we can view it and look at it. And we have one final thing to close the loop, which I have finished. Um, and I'm just like wrestling with pipelines and reviews and stuff. Um, but the, you know, wanted to drop it here because I have finished the work to be done um, other than sort of shepherding it through. So um, that was my last two weeks. And I think Jess is next. Yep. Uh, so I updated a drop down for the free trial in regards to country and region. Um, also, I call it the last call. I don't know what, what exactly was supposed to be the CTA images at the tends to be at the bottom of our page. We had to update those to stock photos because they were previously employee photos and uh, they didn't work here anymore. Um, yeah, I think that Javi made that. It looks great. Um, and then also did a bunch of changes to the SMD page. Um, you can take a look at that. Really made it more distinct from the enterprise page, made everything kind of click through to wherever it needed to go, updated content, all that good stuff. Um, and then also just kind of continued to work on audit uh, Slippers design system um, on our side. And Lauren, you're up next. Right, a lot of, uh, of the e-commerce work. Um, got the adding the visible script to our signup pages and then it got flagged for a security review. So that's getting tossed over there. I started the MR for um, the add to cart event in Google Tag Manager data layer to the usage tab. So I got it started. We'll try to pass it off for review by end of week. Um, created the buyer experience handbook page. So that is now live and that's just a page to let people know this repo exists, where it is, how to edit your stuff. Um, so that was cool. Lots of MR reviews. Closed the issue for the misspelling on DevOps lifecycle image. It got reported on, it was um, some really obscure operating system and browser. So um, the person that reported it was, uh, didn't open an MR for it and I couldn't verify it. So I just closed it. Uh, I looked for the templates that were creating the old pages. A lot of them were in the DevOps tools category and those have since been resolved. So that was exciting to look in there and see all of it was gone. And the OKR Epic for implementing all P1, P2 Google Analytics recommendations is ready to close. We have one outstanding issue um, where Dennis is going to add additional documentation to the handbook and then we'll be able to close that one out. And Javi, you're next. Thanks, Lauren. Uh... My new computer is mostly set. I have some things with like my shell that I want to configure, but that's like personal preference. Uh, I iterated on releasing another thing to the MVC, to the navigation. I added the enable JS API equals one to the YouTube videos and the buyer experience repository. I had this homepage spacing fix from, you know, from the release post that for some reason keeps cropping up. And then I updated the stock photo to add diversity, which is the thing that just, uh, showed and so up next is laura uh yeah i've got a couple of housekeeping items on there um updating some links on a few pages that had been pointed out uh in slack and some a broken icon um also in slack came up uh investigating the cookie banner showing up in review apps if you're in certain regions like uh, canada which some of us are uh and lots of mr reviewing <clears throat> which was great and then i did an update for the smb page so you can show that there and yeah, that one. Um, and yeah, so this is the, um, I guess, outcome of the Figma file that Jess just showed a couple of minutes ago. 
Um, and at the bottom, I was able to update that CTA also that Javi was just talking about. So uh, one of the CTA components in Buyer Experience repo is now using that uh, image. Uh, I worked with Daniel on some step stages of DevOps lifecycle page, uh, working together on an MR there uh, that Daniel's gonna carry over the finish line. Uh, and then I've also got a uh, install page work in progress uh, MR uh, that should be ready to go shortly. And next is Tina. Thanks, my dog's barking. Um, just let me know if it's too loud. <laughs> so um, I completed the design for the analyst page. Uh, you can show that, is that too loud? Should I skip until she's, I think they'll calm her down. You're good, I th I'll say good. Go Okay. It. Um, there's probably a deer or something. Um, so that's uh, ready for engineering. It includes, um, if you go to the top, it includes uh, an updated top position on page anchor nav. Um, there's an issue for that that I'll mention um, after. And I think that's, uh, there's a plan for that to be um, engineered next quarter. Uh, next, I also completed a design for the all remote page. Uh, we'll, yeah. That's the one um, that's also ready for engineering. It's mostly built using existing blocks from like the solutions page and the SND page and um, other places with a few variants here and there that should also uh, be ready for next quarter. Um, also, yeah, so I mentioned that top anchor nav. So while in the thick of doing all the page migrations, we realized we needed some solutions and updates to the on-page anchor navigations being used. Um, so I refreshed the UI for the top level one. Yeah, you can just show any one of those. They're all in the same, yeah. And then if you go to the side, to the layers, like on the left in the Figma layers panel, you'll see a design for the sidebar signal nav. Javi, if you just go to the Figma, like, Oh, yeah. I see it, I go. see it, I see it, yeah. yeah, thank you. So just a little refresh on our single level navigation and then click the other one and that's the, um, the like multi-level, uh, I think it goes four levels deep. So I just kind of refreshed the indenting rules and all of that and the, the UI and slipperified it. Uh, next, I did a few slippers updates uh, in the Figma file. Um, quotes, I added, I just updated the quote section and defined, is, it's so annoying, I'm so sorry. Dog. Uh, defined block quotes versus full quotes, uh, worked on the emphasis section. We don't have to show that. Um, and the last thing I did was I continued to design, uh, to do design reviews for the ongoing buyer experience migration. Um, next is John. And now she's stopped barking. No, there she goes again. Thanks, Tina. Uh, I work on a bunch of children pages for the stages the boats life cycle. I work on uh, this one that you are seeing. Most of them are, are the same. Uh, and that would be it. Only stages the boats life cycle pages. Next one is um, Daniel. Yeah, uh, for this iteration, I uh, work uh, on the, the stages the boats life cycle landing page. It's the parent page of uh, the one uh, John just uh, show us. Uh, I was working on that along with uh, Laura. And uh, also uh, I work on a couple of fixes in terms page. One is related to the to text width. Uh, it was already there. And, and the other issue, it's uh, related with the column width. Uh, it's, uh, it seems it's a uh, appear uh, some, some time. And um, I think uh, that's it. Uh, next one is Nathan. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Slippers V1 is ready. I sent out, I think the MR to everybody. Sorry, I tagged everyone on it. Um, just remove yourself if it's annoying. Um, I think it's pretty much done review. I think Javi's looking at it today and then hopefully I can merge it in uh, after addressing all the comments. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, this is the review app. Uh, it's kind of a change log, and then also kind of what's next. And you can check out the Epic as well if you want more information. Um, and then after that, I groomed the slippers backlog. Uh, I noticed we had a bunch of duplicate issues. Um, so just cleaned that up, removed like probably 30% of them. And then I added an MR template uh, with the reviewer checklist. So I didn't make it too long, but it's just a quick little, yeah, just a quick little checklist of what to look for when you're a reviewer. And that's like, you know, mobile changes, browsers, that kind of stuff. 
Um, and then I added a template, an issue template with Michael. Um, this is a better handle. When we try and move issues over from the www repo to the buyer experience, it's not always smooth because if they have a parent epic, um, it doesn't work. And so we're creating like a template that pretty much is just a shell of an issue that references the outgoing issue so that we can add it to our boards and everything as we start using iteration boards for our sprints. Um, remove the free trial banners on comparison pages. They're just three banners that uh, have been missed in the past, but they're all removed now. And then there was something added to the pricing page. I didn't add this or do this change, but it had been lingering for a while. Uh, and so I just kind of merged it and reviewed it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for me. Mateo? Yes, uh, for the sprint, I was working on the migration of a couple of the key pages, that being demo and sales. And with those creating a couple of interactive components, they were not so static uh, uh, for uh, some interactions that the page has. And after that, I did a little bit of reviewing of Nathan's uh, Slippers V1 MR. And next is Miguel. Uh, yep, thank you. Uh, this iteration, I worked on the migration of the topics CI CD page. Uh, it's finally live. And um, also, I started working on the anchors link uh, functionality when we have like these docs like uh, pages uh, that are pretty much everywhere, starting from uh, with the company child pages. So uh, I'm working on that. Uh, I already have like the three components that I need, but uh, I'm working on uh, using like uh, uh, an enhanced uh, markdown rendering and for, for creating those links between the, the markdown itself. Uh, so yeah, I'll be working on that uh, today and tomorrow and hopefully I'll have it ready. And yeah, I think that's it, but we're missing Megan, I think. Oh, I didn't put much down. Um, a lot of my stuff is still in, in draft, um, but that included some uh, uh, solutions pages. And uh, like Javi, I got my company laptop, so I was uh, setting that up all week, that's all. Nice. Uh, cool. I think that is it from everyone. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.